Welcome back. You're with us here on Aspire. Well, we do have that uh, HTC tablet review coming up, as promised. But first up, as always, let's take a look at the tech buzz of the week. Sony has unveiled a new mid-range phablet inspired by the same design as seen on their flagship devices. The Xperia T3 will come with a 5.3-inch screen and is surrounded by an aluminium frame with a plastic back. Touted to be the slimmest 5.3-inch phone, it comes with quad-core processing, 1GB of RAM and an 8-megapixel camera. We expect it to hit the market pretty soon with a price tag close to 25,000 rupees. Google is making its presence on laptops as well. HP has announced a new Chromebook PC and a new Android-powered notebook called the Slatebook. The Chromebook PC runs on Chrome OS and comes with meager specs like a 11.6-inch screen, an Exynos processor, 2GB of RAM and only 16GB of internal memory. But it is well-priced at $250. The Slatebook, on the other hand, comes with a full HD 14-inch screen with a Tegra 4 processor. This one will be priced close to $400 and the good thing is that the screen is touch-enabled, making full use of Android's interface. Alright, now the mid-range tablets, they become very popular among smartphone users and why not? Because of the kind of real estate on the phone, you do enjoy playing your games that much more or enjoy your movies as well on the phone. Well, the HTC Fablet 816 tries to do just that. It really tries to offer just that little bit extra. So we're taking a closer look to see if it really is the best mid-range tablet out there. The HTC Desire 816 is a fresh approach from the company, one that is inspired by the growing demand of phablets. This one comes with a massive 5.5-inch screen and a hard plastic body. The back has a glossy finish, whereas the side rim has a matte finish. This is a dual SIM variant with both the SIM slots tucked away on the right side of the phone, along with a micro SD expansion slot. The headphone jack is at the top and the micro USB port at the base of the device. The unusual part is that the power key and the volume key are placed on the left side of the phone. And considering the large form factor, for a right-handed person, it gets really uncomfortable to unlock and lock the device. Sadly, there are no gestures like the M8 to unlock this phone. Even when you turn on the screen, you realize that there is quite a lot of space on the sides for the bezel, making it a fairly large device to hold. In fact, it makes the M8 look puny in comparison. The 816 brings HTC's new Sense interface which is a very clean approach compared to other manufacturers. Running on Android KitKat, there are no issues with the performance as the OS is not so pressing on hardware anymore. Nevertheless, the 816 does have quad-core performance and comes with 1.5 GB of RAM, which makes it capable to handle multitasking with ease. Even with playing games, the load-up times are pretty good and the large screen does come handy for on-screen controls like here in FIFA. The big advantage with the 816 is the dual front-firing speakers that have become a strong design point for HTC. We also did a benchmark test and as you can see the results are comparable to other phones at the same price point. HTC has also put in a 13 megapixel camera at the back bringing in the same features that you would see in other premium smartphones. Manual controls, scene modes and filters. Also the front camera is called the selfie camera and has a 5 megapixel sensor. We expected it to be better than the rest, but unfortunately, the lens isn't as wide as expected, which is pretty essential for selfies. The battery life is decent and the phone lasted us a full day, but considering the size of the device and the specs, it should have lasted longer. The 816 comes in at a great price point considering its features, its overall performance and its screen size. Now it would be unwieldy for many because of its large form factor but if you enjoy playing games and watching movies then this will give you a much better experience than the competition. Well, we'll leave it there this week on the show. Thanks so much for joining us. And we'll see you again next week, same time. Bye-bye.